Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use LCDs. Um, for the hardware, this is the same as the counter video. I've got a matrix uh, programmer board with a 8-bit PIC, a 16F8877 there, presenting the outputs uh, on these two connectors for a combo board, and I've got uh, switches and LEDs on both port A and B and I've got an LCD here on port B. Now our counter used port B last time so the first thing we're going to do on our program is change that so the counter uses port A and I can do that by clicking on the LEDs in uh, our panel and changing them to port A and what I'll do is we'll keep we'll keep uh, flashing the LEDs. So we'll select that count goes to port A. And what we'll do is we'll enter or we'll put a generic LCD onto the panel. And this LCD connects to port B. And you can see that the connection tier are um, quite complex. These are serial devices. They need four pins for the information and then a couple of other pins which dictate the uh, sequence of information going to the LCD. So six pins in total, it's a simple serial port. When you drag on um, a component onto the panel, if you look at Project Explorer under the hardware um, available, you can see these are all the commands that you have for the LCD. So you can clear it, clear a line, set the cursor, print in different ways, numbers, strings, floats, ASCII, um, and there is a start command. And complex serial devices often need an initialize or start command. Uh, there are no parameters there, and they need this so that the communications can be set up inside the microcontroller in terms of the serial port and the registers and so on. So usually on more complex components, we need a start or initialize command. What we'll then do is we'll print the value of our counter onto the LCD display. So I just simply print number and enter the variable count. And if you run this now, you can see that the display is updated with the value of count and built into print number and print string is a little routine that automatically moves the cursor on um, in both X and in Y, so that the characters or text is printed in the next available position. And this is okay, but as you can imagine, pretty soon we're gonna run out of space on that LCD. So that program's not quite right. To get around that, what we do is we alter the cursor, um, and what we'll do is we'll say, alt, alter the cursor to be zero in X and zero in Y, and that basically is top left. And if we run it again, you can see that it's always now gonna print the number of the top left. So that's getting there. What we often want to do is we might have several different parameters printed onto an LC display. So we'll have a print string command, and this allows us to enter a bit of text. So, in this case, we'll say count is, and if we simulate again, you can now see that it's a bit more human facing. So there's our program. We've programmed the LCD. We haven't used all of the um, routines there. If you want to know how any of these more complex um, components work, if you just right click on help, then what you'll find is it'll take you to the wiki and you'll see a circuit diagram uh, where that's relevant. And you also get a breakdown of all of the routines in the hardware macros and what they do. So there's a, a massive amount of help information on the wiki about all sorts of things. So that's our program. What we'll do now is we will compile that to our chip. And if we've done that right, then you should find that any moment now you see the display being updated and the count on the LEDs on port A.
So there you go, you can see the count on port A and it says count is with the relevant number. Now you can see that the LEDs on port B are being used to transfer the serial information uh, to the LCD display.